Hey friends, I'm Rachel Karnak, professional food photographer, helping you take incredible photos that are good enough to eat. In today's video, I want to show you how you can easily transfer images between Lightroom catalogs, which is a little hack that not a lot of people know about, and it really helps in organizing and cleaning up your Lightroom. You simply want to open the catalog that you want to import photos to. So I have a catalog here, which is food 2023. So then you simply head up to file and go to import from another catalog. Now Lightroom's going to default to where your catalogs and backups are. So you can see where that is on a PC and a Mac. And if you've customized that at all to be on any sort of hard drives, you might default to there as well. So on a Mac, it is simply pictures. Lightroom folder and then it's got all the catalogs. So now you want to choose the catalog in which you want to import photos from. So I'm going to head up to this food photos catalog and choose. And then it's going to pop up this little window for us. Now if this is the first time you're doing it you might see a window that looks like this. So make sure we have show previews ticked. This is really going to help you to visualize what you're bringing over. So you have a couple of options. You can check all of the photos or uncheck them all. So if you want to uncheck and just bring certain photos over. You could definitely go ahead and do that. The other thing that we have is you can change the size of the thumbnails and previews. So if you want to take an overview of what is in your Lightroom catalog, or if you want to zoom in to look at a, a particular photo, you can do that as well. So by default, it's going to just take everything in that catalog and we definitely don't want to bring everything over. So I recommend going ahead and unchecking all folders and then just going ahead and checking the ones you want to bring over. Now, there are so many reasons why you might want to bring new photos into different catalogs. And for me, something that I do regularly is when clients want to license a photo. So I took this photo quite a number of years ago, but I had a client reach out and they wanted to license this image, the cover of a book. So because I'm going to be working on it now and going back and forth with the client, I want to bring it into my latest catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and tick that. And by default, it's going to check all. Another one that I recently worked on for a client for a print was part of this Tom Yum noodle soup series. So I'm just going to bring them all over. So you'll see again, by default, it's going to head, it's going to check all those. The third one I'm going to bring over is this uh, little mini cupcake shoot that I did. It was a personal shoot. And I want to go ahead and apply some new things that I'm learning uh, with color grading. So I'm going to bring that over into my latest catalog as well. Now, before we import, we have a couple of options here in terms of file handling, which are really important. So the first one is to add photos to the new catalog without moving. So when it says moving, it means moving files from one location to another. So usually I like to keep the file structure that I have on hard drives the same. So I tend to choose add photos to new catalog without moving. If you wanted to copy photos to a new location and then import them to this catalog, you would choose the next option. And then it's going to ask you, where do you want to put those? So you could go ahead and pop them onto a hard drive. Maybe it's a new hard drive. And what it's going to do is it's going to copy the raw files to this new location and then import as well. So that is another option for you to do. The other one that we have is don't import new photos. So you can see that it's now grayed out all these photos because these are all new. So you would simply use this if you had new a mix of new and existing photos um, within a folder that might be inside and outside different catalogs. So I'm going to go ahead and do the one I usually do, which is add new photos to catalog without moving. Make sure I check all these. The other ones that we had ticked were these two here. And then if you do have the option to change existing photos, I just find it's better to replace nothing and preserve any old settings with a virtual copy, just so you're not losing any of your edits. And then all you simply do is hit import. And then it's going to bring all of those images into your catalog. So let's take a look. So here we have the mini cupcakes here. So I can go ahead and play around with some new color grading. If we head into the next section here, here are the artichoke photos. So I can go and work on those for a client and I can go and work on these ones as part of this noodle soup that I did and get ready for this one for a client who is going to print the image. The really cool thing about this is you can go up to file and import from another catalog and you can choose any other catalog and you can do this as many times as you like. Now you just want to make sure 
that any catalog that you choose does have an external hard drive plugged in if that is your file management system. And that's how easy it is to bring in different images and folders into different catalogs. So I'm curious to know how this is going to help you in your business. And if you want to brainstorm why you would bring over images into a new catalog, just leave me a comment.